Hello, welcome to Better Cocktails at Home. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode, we're gonna be learning all about glass rinsers and installing a glass rinser in your own home bar. So, we're working with Rhino Coffee Gear on this. We partner with them um, to really kind of see how we could take their glass rinser and install it in our home bar here at the Quarter Deck Club, and just to kind of see what it takes to go through the process, you know, what to be mindful of, what to think about, um, just kind of the whole process around it, just because I think it's a great tool to have for home bars if you can fit it in your space and it works well. Um, I highly recommend it. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about kind of how we're gonna install it. So you're gonna see me doing some install of it, talking a little bit about that. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about um, kind of how to use it, how to clean it, things, just kind of notes that I've thought of. Because um, I've been using it for about um, probably four months now. So I think I feel like I'm pretty, have a good idea of kind of the pros and cons of glass rinsers, that sort of thing. So check out how we're gonna install this and then we'll be back in a second with our thoughts. Here, this is the uh, spin jet spin, uh, vessel rinser. So most of these, if you see them in bars, or you see them in coffee shops too, um, they actually have a nozzle, you take your vessel, your glass, push it to the top and it sprays water out, rinses everything. Um, this one actually like rotates and spins as it sprays. So it kind of coats everything, gets all the gunk out. Um, so I'm like, super excited about that. So yeah, so I'm kind of in my construction gear today and I've got two helpers with me. They're gonna do a great job. It's your cue. And so, wish us luck. So as you can see here for the plumbing, what we're doing is you have to tie into the supply line. So depending on you know the manufacturer's recommendation for your glass rinser, um, either you tie it into hot or cold. Um, so for ours, this one it specifies the cold supply line. So we've got this valve here um, so that we can easily shut this off if something ever happened to it. You can easily quickly access it. Um, so this is tying into the 3 8 supply line. It's coming out to a quarter inch um, tubing. And then our pressure, water pressure is too high for this to operate properly. So again, look at the manufacturers. So for this specific one, they say about 35 PSI. Um, this is the closest I could find, and this is actually 40 PSI, but it seems to be working well. Um, so from there, we're going through there to reduce the pressure coming into the glass rinser and then just finally making our connection all the way up. Let's give you a little tour of the unit itself here. So here um, we have the kind of the grate, right? So this actually comes off, you can clean it. Um, you have that, you've got the drain obviously right there. Moving on, you've got the actuator, so the star pattern um, that things rest on. Above that, we've got our um, spin jet, the actual rinser item. Um, so yeah, it's not like a super complex, but in that spin jet, there's actually, like a, I mean, there's a lot of parts, there's a whole schematic about it. So um, it's pretty cool, right? And you can see how it like sits really flush with our install here. Um, that was really a feature that I think is a great smart design. Um, trying to really keep yourself usable, things that you can really use and you know not get in the way of what you're doing when you're bartending. So I really like this model a lot. I think it's just, it's designed well, it's thoughtful, that kind of thing. So I'm really impressed with it. So yeah, so any pressure is what activates this, right? So when you push down, you can see the spin jet activates, do the water pressure, spins it around, cleans everything super well. Um, there's a nice big jet in the middle that goes all the way to the top. Um, and so yeah, it's super quick, really fast. Just be mindful that you're always covering this when you're actually doing it, because if you push down on it, you don't have a vessel on top, it's gonna squirt all over your bar. Um, but yeah, so it's like, it works really well, super easy to do. Only takes a couple seconds and then it just drip dies, right? It's just a great little product. Another thing I really like about this specific one is that um, you'll see some that attach to your sink that I've seen. I've heard those are really small and actually they don't really cover a lot of like wide range of vessel sizes. So this one, 
works great for large things like this this rinser um, it also works equally well if you have like a jigger right so it kind of has um, a wide range of things that you can try and and rinse so all right so you saw a little bit about our installation our particular one um, and so let's just talk a little bit through it some of the pros and cons of glass rinsers things that i thought of as i installed it as i've used it that kind of thing so first off um, for the install my number one recommendation is really plan out everything so rhino coffee gear with this they have templates um, plans schematics to really kind of um, get the details down of where you're going to install it um, so i highly recommend downloading all of all the information you can for uh, whatever your glass rinser is and then just really plan it out think through it uh, be really mindful of okay where is where is this i'm going to install where am i put it in my bar um, you know some models this one is set as you saw inside um, actually set in our countertop so i had to cut a hole in it they make some that are actually you can set on countertops um, so just really think through like how you're going to install this how it might work for your setup right because it's one of those things where every setup is so custom um, that you really just kind of have to like think through it um, see what the pros and cons are of like you know like i said like an inset one or one that sits on top of your counter that kind of thing um, think about the size right like i'd say go as big as you can get this is kind of the um, the right size for our space um, and so really just kind of think through it. get the biggest one you can they're really super handy um, the thing is really think about your water pressure like as you saw i kind of talked about trying to install that pressure reducing valve um, it's really important to get the right pressure coming into your glass rinser so um, kind of just really with the install just think through it plan ahead and you're going to save yourself some headaches um, as you're doing it so that's the install piece um, in terms of like maintenance that kind of stuff you do have to like maintain them a lot um, so i think a lot of people use like an espresso cleaner um, so this is something you can get it's pretty common um, you can like run, run some hot water put this in it take some of the parts just soak it in there it's really easy to clean um, but that's what you see a lot of coffee houses are using and you see these in a lot of coffee houses um, so yeah just regular maintenance really important and they include like here's what you got to do um, to kind of keep it running really well and there's actually like a lot of little parts in these things um, so you do need to maintain it to really keep it running at how it should be running at an optimal level so keep it clean um, and they do get dirty you think like okay i'm just running like you know i'm gonna rinse in my glass and my cocktail tins my glasses it's just like you know it's a little bit of citrus alcohol um, it's still like it gets they get dirty just like anything else so maintain it um, and in terms of like usage just kind of like how i've been enjoying it is like i think they're super nice right like i've always wanted one um, in a home bar setting i've seen them been used in cocktail bars for years and they're really like they're great for speed right you're just like psh, done psh, done like you can really kind of like rinse your stuff out really quickly um, if you had to choose between a, a sink and a glass rinser like you always should pick a sink right it's a little more just kind of utilitarian um, if you have the space for both i think they're a great combo together right because it ties in the same plumbing that kind of stuff so if you had to pick one pick the sink if you can do both i highly recommend doing both right it's just one of those tools that just makes things really well like it's just fast nice um, that's why you see them with so many nice cocktail bars um, so yeah like get the pressure right like it's just great so as you can see here um, it's just it cleans stuff really well i will say like i my stuff is getting cleaner now with a glass rinser than if i just like rinse it out in a sink dump it and let it dry and drip dry um, i think the glass rinser definitely gets stuff cleaner um, going through it and that high pressure so i love it um, i really thank them for providing this particular product for us to install and experiment with and you know be able to show all of you how it might work in your home bars so I thank you so much for watching Better Cocktails at Home, and we're going to see you on the next episode. Bye. Like uh, and subscribe. Thank you. Like and subscribe.